Hi guys, I'm Abroad here with another news update on men's health and in this issue we want to talk about some foods that'll help with erectile dysfunction. Now, if you have any questions about this video or any of the videos in my channel, just give me a call at 609-410-4790. If you'd like to see other videos that I've done, just click on some of the links in the description below this video. Now let's see what we have today. Now the question is, why do they work? Well, research has shown that some of the best known edible aphrodisiacs and things to help erectile dysfunction do in fact contain vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that contribute to a healthy reproductive system and hormonal balance, ultimately leading to a healthier sex drive. Now, hormonal balance is a whole other topic. It would be great to always get blood work to find out how that's going, but these foods are going to be an important part of a healthy diet. So asparagus contains tons of vitamin E, which, considered, which is considered one of the sex hormone stimulants. Another one is carrots, which is rich in vitamin A an essential nutrient for sex hormones. The heat in garlic is purported to stir sexual desires by increasing the body's production of nitric oxide, the chemical responsible for blood vessel dilation and essential for erection. Now, nitric oxide we'll get into just briefly at the end of this video, but it is vitally important for maintaining and having an erection and maintaining proper blood pressure and a number of other things so just remember that for for a moment pomegranate seeds are loaded with antioxidants that support proper blood flow and proper circulation and proper blood flow is how an erection works blood flows into the penis and you have an erection. Without proper blood flow, no erections. Strawberries are high in vitamin C for improved blood flow and in fact pretty much any of the berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, they're all great for you. Now, watermelon has some really positive benefits and a couple of negative ones that you want to watch out for but it contains high amounts of water so it's great for hydration it also contains high levels of L-citrulline which is works with L-arginine as a blood vessel relaxer and it improves circulation now the two things to keep in mind is one the vast majority of L-citrulline is in the rind not in the pulpy part so pretty much nobody eats the rind unless you juice everything the other thing is that watermelon is really really high in sugar so you can really spike your blood sugar levels if you're eating a ton of watermelon and in the winter months you're not going to get any watermelon anyway so a lot of the things that we were talking about in terms of food has two benefits. One is the ones I've talked about. The second is the more you eat of them, the less you eat of junk food and highly processed food, which are devastating to your body. But one of the best things to do for your body is to be able to heal the lining of your blood vessels, which in fact some of these foods do. And by not eating junk food, you help stop to hurting your lining of your blood vessels. But nitric oxide therapy is dynamic for healing the lining of your blood vessels so your body can produce nitric oxide so you can have proper blood flow and proper erections. Now, if you'd like to see a really good video on nitric oxide therapy and how it works for cardiovascular issues like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, complications of diabetes, and what we're talking about, erectile dysfunction, Simply click on the link in the description below this video and it'll take you to a great nitric oxide therapy video. Now, if you have any questions about that video, this video, any of the videos on my channel, 
Give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Have a great day and here's to your good health.